to subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of my latest uploads. Hey guys and welcome back to Salai Alpha 18. Whoa, just noticed that is not spawning in. I just hope my CPU and GPU are not crapping out at the moment. Anyways, as you guys can see, we have a ton of resources on us. So we're going to go back to that place and start building again. I just hope the ground starts loading in as soon as we get close. Um, my bike is actually loaded with ammo and we're quickly going to do this clear quest and then head up. Since it is so close, this is the trader that we need to hand it into so we can just as well. Let's just hope the ground starts spawning in as soon as I get close to there. Otherwise, this is really going to suck. Now guys, I cannot wait. As you guys know, I am a swimming instructor and I had to take over the admin position. Which meant that I was at work 6 o'clock in the morning and left half for 7 at night. Well, I just found the, uh, had the good news. Um, oh, I'm going to get a 2,000 Rand pay cut. But my little brother's fiance is going to take over the thing again. Oh crap, it's over here. Um, she's going to take over the admin and then I'll be able to rest a little bit more, so I cannot wait for Wednesday. Unfortunately, it's only Wednesday, but still. Okay, so over there's books we can... You know what? This isn't on the to-do list, but there are some things in here we can read. Is this now a dungeon? This was never like this before. Okay, so can we kill this guy? Come on. Don't miss your shots, John. Whoa. You gotta be shitting me. You really gotta be shitting me. I just missed three power attacks in a row. Okay, let's wait for over 50. Let's see if I can hit her at least. Whoop. No. Okay, so shotgun. I'm not gonna waste my time. So we're gonna shotgun this. Let's just reload. And that's obviously gonna come out the window now. I think. Hello, hello. Come over here. This lady is really, really slow it seems. No, it's not a lady, it's a guy. I thought it was one of those putrid ladies. Okay, now this is completely new. I don't know if I should actually really mess with this. I'm still used to the Alpha 17 one. So seeing it like this is really weird. I don't know where the bookcases and stuff are. And I'm not going to waste my time looking for them. Okay, so we need to activate this quest over here. Ooh, these guys hurt the gunshot. I need to activate the quest over here and then go in. But I need to make sure that I don't... Wander too far from the quest as soon as I activate it. So I can't afford to be focusing on these zombies. Hello there. Thank you. I can't afford to be focusing on these zombies outside after I accept the quest. So I need to get all of these zombies out of the way before I even start to accept. Because with my bad luck, I accept the quest and then I end up dying. Or rather, I end up uh, getting too far away from the quest and it fails. Why did, where did I get dying? Ooh, yes, this is the middle one. Oh, no, it's the bunker one. Okay, so unfortunately we're going to have to go un underneath. And it's a clear quest, so we have to kill all the zombies and get the loot. Luckily, we should be able to get some awesome loot, but unfortunately, as you guys can see, we are encumbered. So I don't know how much loot we'll actually be able to hold. Hello, let's just make some noise. We're going to run through this place. I really want to get some looting, or rather some building in. So we're just going to blaze through this place. Oh, hello, fair. Oh, crap. I'm stuck in the doorway over here. Damn, that sucked. Okay, so, let's see. Gonna check all these pits for zombies. The zombies outside are gonna come for me soon because I'm making a ton of noise right now. Okay. Uh, these coffins might just have some ammo in. But I don't know if I want to waste the time. Oh, come on. How did she not hear the gunshot but she heard the rest? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, this is really messed up. Okay, so, let's just do this. The curtain actually protected her, which I don't know how that works. Yeah, there has to be something up here. Doesn't seem like there's anything good up there. Okay, that's a nice thing about being able to jump that high. Okay, the zombies are all inside that I still need to kill. Hello there. And I love the shotgun. Okay, technically I want to loot all of this, but we are so damn encumbered. I don't really want to loot too much. Especially since the last room is going to have the most stuff. Okay, no zombies over here. Ooh, hello there. Let's just reload this. Man, the armor on these guys is insane. Come on, no, 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 no. Don't die down here. How the hell is he taking so many shots? 
Whoa, okay, so let's just get up here quickly and heal ourselves. That is not a promising start. We just got a ton of damage from that one guy. Then again, his armor is insane. Hello there. Just to make sure. I don't want to loot everything. It's just a clear quest. Oh, are you kidding me? I didn't activate the rally point. So none of that just counted, but I almost died. And there's a ton of zombies in the area because I'm making a ton of noise. This is not looking good. <laughs> well, at least I'm getting a ton of killing in, but still, damn. Okay, let's just hope there's no bear in between of here. Because there's a ton of wailing on the walls. So I might just be a wandering horde. Let's just check this out. Okay, Jean, to first activate the damn point. I can't believe I just started the quest without starting the quest. Start tier 2. Ooh, it's a tier 2. So it might just be even more difficult than we just started with. Okay, there's nothing in there. She's gonna be in here. Oh, crap. Oh, that could have been bad. Let's just reload this, and the cop must have dropped something good. Come on, come on, come on. Not really. Okay, like I said, guys, we are encumbered, so we can't just loot anything. So I have to watch out what I pick up and what I don't pick up. And now I just have to kill everything over here again. Oh, oh crap. You guys saw how I struggled with the normal one. Now there's this guy. Oh, he's dead. How does that work? Okay, so there's a zombie over here. At least they show red on the map. So since there was, uh, there's no red over here, it means none of them spawned over there. But there's a ton of zombies trying to break in over here. I actually feel like helping them just so I can kill them quickly. All these footsteps is really unnerving, unsettling. Okay, so no zombies over here. I should really loot these things. At the moment, I do not have the space. It, it sucks that we don't have the motorcycle yet. The motorcycle might have just had enough space. Barrel right here. And guys, if you guys know what is affecting my... Oh crap. What could be affecting my CPU and GPU, please comment down below. Because I really am stumped. I can't... I don't understand why my frame rate, everything is so bad. Well, my frame rate is good. It's the... Wait, that's a blue card. It's the CPU and GPU usage that is off the charge, which, uh, which is actually making the lag. Okay, so... Come to me. Okay, no more soldiers, but this guy is radiated. And come on, John, shoot him right in the face. Ooh, scrap, scrap. Okay, so we need to get through this place as fast as possible. I want to get some building done as well. I didn't think it would take this long. Okay, so what's behind there? Just feral. Whoa, and he was dodging like crazy just now. I don't know how, but I just stunned her, which actually saved me a little bit. Okay, so, let's just quickly loot this. Okay, something came inside. Yep, hello. That means they broke through whatever they were trying to break through. Unless he just walked around, of course. Okay, what's behind here? Should have actually done that from the start. Now, where's my turret? Um, I don't know if this one is my turret or this one's my turret. Let's just do that, see if it's loaded. No, it's not, so it must be the other one then. I know my charity yep, is a little bit loaded. Okay, so we're just going to place this here because you do not know what's going to run out of here now. Let's just reload this. And make some noise. Hello, spider. As soon as I kill this guy, more is going to come. Thank you. Ooh, nice. Not too shabby. We have to watch out for zombies flanking me right now. Yeah, come on. They don't hear the, uh, the gunshots, but they hear footsteps. Yeah, that is so believable. Come on. I don't care about killing them, I just want to wound them so badly that they can't stand up. Technically, that's killing, but still. Is there anything behind there? Nope. Okay, now, what's in this? Reflex sight mod, thank you. We're just going to drop everything we don't need right now. Because like I said, we are encumbered like crazy. Okay, so we're not going to grab everything, we're just going to grab the important things. Um, safe is over there. Okay, the turret should fire, should something come. So I hope we can actually quickly lockpick this. Okay, so that just took nine lockpicks. Damn! That was super expensive. Okay, return to trader. But now I don't have t uh, enough space for this thing. Damn it. See, that's what happens when you're too encumbered. Um... 
What can I drop? This. This is not going to matter that much in the long run. And also stone arrows. So I have two more slots to work with. Let's just do that. Okay, one more slot. Now when I get my loot or whatever from the trader, my reward, um, I'm going to be full again. <laughs> I need to see if I can dump some ammo on the mini bike so I can get the rest from the trader. And then we're going to head back and do some building. Now the nice thing is, since we've been gone so long, the cement mixer the trader is actually crafting a ton of concrete mix. I just hope it's enough to really call it a ton. And I need to make sure I grab all of the... Hello, Survivor. Um, I need to make sure I grab all of the rebar frames as well. I can't remember if I grabbed everything or not. So we need to head back this direction. That actually took way longer than I expected just because I accidentally started clearing it without accepting the quest. I can't believe... I was right next to the exclamation mark and I didn't even accept it. Damn it. I just realized something else that is really bad at the moment. We are almost out of gas. And that is really not a good thing. Okay, so let's see if I can shift click something on there. But this is just one. It's going to take unnecessary space. Um, the iron I can actually craft into more ammo. What else can stack? What else? Ooh, the shotgun. Ah, just a stack of 15. That's actually a waste. Um, where's the pistol ammo? No, I can't stack. Okay, so this small stack and this small stack. I feel like leaving these in the trader. Otherwise, I mean, it's just that small stack of ammo. And then now that I reload it, it's even less. So that way I can accept both quests from the trader. Or rather, both rewards. Come on, jump up. Just quickly going to dump it over here in the chest. I just hope we don't get load shedding, guys. It was scheduled, but it never happened. So I hope I'm not jinxing myself right now. Ammo parts, we're going to drop... Oh, no, no, wait, wait, let's just first do that. We're going to drop this and this. I don't I'm not sure if I actually should keep this, because I already have 382 rebar frames. We'll see if we need the space or not. But for now... These should actually already be done crafting or smelting down. Yep, that was just clay. Now wait, can the clay stack? Yes, it can. Nice. That's almost a full stack of clay. Over here, it's this. I wanted to pick this up, but now I don't have enough space. And I still need to accept whatever the trader has for me. So let's just first see what the trader is going to give me. You're okay. okay. Um, oh, shucks. Thanks. Okay, so we're going to take the 762 rounds. Select. And... Splints. Should I? I'm not sure. It's gonna. It's actually gonna uh, create a second stack, I think. Okay. So now that is done. Let's quickly grab all the reinforced concrete over here. Ooh, nice. That's a big amount. Six skill points to spend. As soon as we get to the other place, I'll spend those. I don't want to waste time over here now. Let's just see. I grab all the rebar. Nice. And all of that. Even nicer. Okay, so I do have some sand and stone on me, so I can just as well leave this here as well to cook up. That's also going to give a little, little bit more space in my inventory right now. Although not really a lot, because I mean it's still full. So all the way up to the trader, I hope we don't need to loot anything. Except if we need to wrench a car, but even then, I don't know where we're going to find a car to, uh, to wrench. No man, come on, jump. I just keep running off this frame without jumping. Okay, so let's see. The place I need to go to is right there. I don't want to go over the hills. I can. I actually found a nice path that doesn't make me get stuck. But I think I'm going to go for the road. That way I know I'm guaranteed not to get stuck on something. Okay, that was way faster than expected. I had to range one car frame to get here. But other than that, it actually was quite fast. But now that I think about it... This thing's empty. Damn it. I need to wrench one more car so I can finish digging this last bird. I think it's on this side. No? Huh? On this side. Just this last piece over here that I need to wrench. Um, where am I going to find a car though? Let's just see if we can drop a ton of things first. But don't know being too encumbered when we go wrenching. Although, when I wrenched just now, the nice thing was, can't I just put everything in there? Move items to loot container that can fill up existing stacks. Oh, that's awesome. Kinds, thank you. That is freaking awesome. Okay, so I just need to wrench one car. But the problem now, like I said, is where's that car? Because last episode, we already wrenched it. Oh, over here. There's a frame right here. This will be enough to clear the dirt over there. I think you get like 230 gas just from one car frame like this. Oh, wow. This, is not, this isn't even a car frame. 
This is level 2 frame. Um, if level 3 is a full car, level 2 is this, and level 1 is all you need to range for uh, just the frame. But I'm going to range this still. Because the more gas we have, the better. Then I know we're definitely going to fill up the last slot over there. Now it's a shame we don't have our blade traps uh, yet. Because that is really going to be our centerpiece of the defense. Um, obviously the defense isn't just about that. The defense is also going to be the fact that we're going to have that walkway that we have with the trader. Where the zombies are forced to walk up that walkway. The blade traps are just there to make sure that they don't go for the walls. That if they go for the walls, their legs get ch uh, chopped off or something. Okay, so... And that was awesome. Just gonna see if I can do that again. Yep, full existing slots. That is awesome. That is such a fast way to get stuff out of your inventory. You don't have to see, okay, mm, what else can go in there. You just make sure you have a gun box and everything else box and then voila. Man, I love that option. It just sucks that I only now realized I have that. Okay, so there looks to be like a construction site over there. So I want to see if there's a working cement mixer. Because if there is, we can move everything that's crafting the other cement mixer at the trader over oh, yeah. here. And that's way closer than having to drive to the trader the whole time. I actually want, also want to dig up this whole spot over here. But for now, this is going to have to do, I think, one more row because this is going to have to be a wall. Remember, the blade trap's going to be here and a row down. So the wall over here is going to hold everything above that up. It's the only problem with this design. I mean, it's only going to be too thick that's, that it holds up, but it still needs to hold that up. If that's not held up, the whole base will cave in. So I might not have enough gas, because I thought I might just have, but I don't. Okay, this is awesome. It seems, obviously, the smaller this square gets, the less you have to spend on digging. Okay, so, um, I should really invest in some of those skill points, because just now, it might be something worth using. But for now, let's just do this, and then where's that nail gun? Okay, we have a ton of concrete mix over here, and was that the only stack? So I'm going to do this. Okay, so we have two stacks to work with. Nice. Should probably first get the platform done so we can start the wall on top of that. It's just a shame we don't have a ton of concrete mix, and it's so damn expensive to make. But yeah, I cut out the whole, or rather I paused my timer during the whole drive of the year, because I just felt that that task, that quest, just took up a little bit too much time, uh, way more time than I thought it would, so I'm going to get a little bit more building in this episode, so the time I would have cut out the drive can now go towards building over here. I just hope we have enough concrete mix. It almost feels like it's not going to be enough. Let's just first make sure we get the 3 by whatever this is. I can't say 3 by 3. That is what a blade trap is, uh, that's how wide it is. But it's 3 by I think like 18, that's what I should say, or be saying. But then again, as soon as one side is fully 3 by 18, the other side's going to be like 3 by 12 or something. I just have this bad feeling that we're going to run out of concrete mix before we can even do this outer perimeter. Because concrete mix is so damn expensive. I'm not even sure if we're going to be able to use this for the day 28 ward. I'm just praying because the trader is way too big. And I'm going to keep dying on those guards because I haven't made any adjustments there yet. And all the concrete mix I'm using over here, I could have used there to extend the trader. So let's just hope before day 28 we have enough concrete mix. The thing is, if I could make my own concrete mixer, and I could make like five of them, we'd have enough concrete mix. At the moment, we have enough concrete mix, but it's just crafting so damn slow. I should actually see if I can invest a little bit more in the crafting perk. You know what? Let's just stack up against this tree over here. That way we know we are a little bit safe, because this is going to hang against the tree should the bottom moth get, uh, get destroyed. Now what I'm going to do is, let's quickly check for the crafting. Because if I can get crafting faster, I'm set. It's not over here, that scavenging is full, nice. Shotgun, splatter gun, what is this? Increased damage with shotgun weapons on head attacks by 30%, but I can't because I need shotguns level 8. Oh, that's so close. One more horde, just one. Okay, perks over here. Quick craft. I could have sworn my quicker crafting was maxed. Did I lose that or was that just my imagination? Because otherwise that sucks. Okay, we have six points. So I wonder if I should just go all of it in there. Um, tool crafting, I can't tell. I don't know. I also want to go into the perks over here about security. Pain tolerance, let's just get that as high as possible. So we don't take too much damage from zombies, and then the rest we're going to just pour in here. We want, because remember, even though it's, ooh, what do we need for this? 
Player level 80, what am I now? We are player level 70, damn. Remember guys, when you're crafting something in a workbench, what, how fast you can craft is the time it takes for that stuff. So say I only had crafting level 2, and I craft something that takes 80 minutes. If you invest in crafting again, you have to cancel that 80 minutes thing and do it again, because then it gives you a better time. Okay, so now, let's see what else I can spend this in. Parkour. Yeah, jump 2 meters, wait, 2 meters high, I never get a broken leg. Increase safe fall distance by 5 meters. So now I am a, woo, just look how high I can jump. And you don't break a leg from falling, nice. Okay, so that's definitely going to come in handy, especially if I have to jump over a few zombies. Now let's see if I can quickly upgrade all of this and have enough concrete mix. Ooh, I doubt it. I want to make a few drop chests over here, but I'm not going to have any concrete mix to protect that. It's a shame there aren't any more traders. I should really try that nitrogen map. As soon as we have a base in this uh, series, or in this game, that is, well, that can maintain itself against the horde. Like, properly, you don't have to worry about the base getting destroyed. Then I'll start over with a nitrogen tool and see if we can't load it with a ton of traders. See, unfortunately now that just stopped. Um, can I make... I should probably... No, no, I don't want to put too much down because just now that gets destroyed. We have wood, so we can quickly make a drop chest over here. Let's make two. Now, I need to sort over here. The problem is I don't want to waste too much time on sorting. So, we're going to just go lightly and put all the ammo in one chest. And then the rest of the stuff in the other chest. That's actually the best way. <laughs> Move all items to loot container. That is epic. Now, I just need to grab this, this. Uh, that we don't need right now. Repair kits, yes. Wood, yes. I actually need to keep these glass jars on me just in case we find water. I should actually check the map whether we haven't passed water already. Okay, mineral water, take it. Uh, ammo, definitely. My turret. Oh, no, no, that's not my turret. The turret I have on me is my turret. Okay, the workbenches I'm only going to place as soon as we have a perimeter going. Otherwise, it's going to get destroyed by zombies. I have my workstations here. I just need to put it down. But like I say, guys, concrete mix is super expensive, and I can't make my own yet. Let's just quickly see how many. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? How many of those skill? 79. I need 120 to make my first one. So I just need a few more from that. Let's just quickly grab everything in here. I'm going to do this. And we're going to drop. Oh, I can't drop everything to loot container, otherwise, I'm going to have to grab everything I just picked up. So once again, we're just going to drop all the ammo in there. I can actually drop all of this in there because it's ammo and guns. Like so. And everything over here we keep. Now this, I'm, if I'm mistaken, I use nine more rounds. And that's definitely going to come in handy with, uh, during hordes. But for now, I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, let's go. I need to find something. Let's see if we can find a concrete mixer. Where did I say is the worksite? Over there. If I can find a concrete mixer over here, guys, I'm set. Because then off camera, I'll just quickly go and grab everything. All my workbenches, my concrete mixer, everything. And then come craft everything over here. Then I don't have to drive all this way back just for concrete mix. I can just fetch it here. At least I hope it works like that. There are just so many pure eyes that I still haven't looted yet. New ones that I have never even seen before. I mean, uh, no, this doesn't have a workbench. Damn it. I, oh, no, not a workbench. Yo, it is a workbench. Workstation. I need a concrete mixer, but I don't know where I'm going to find one. It's going to be at a construction site, but not one like this. Perhaps at the back? But I doubt it. Wait, hello, zombie. No, I don't think there's anything. Damn it. I need to find myself one that's over here. Uh, the traders might just have. Wait, what did I just do? I accidentally tabbed out of the game just now, and something else popped up about Windows Movie Maker or something. Okay, so, um, let's start, where are we on the map? We should actually technically start there and move our way around. So let's just quickly go down there. We know it's perhaps we find a working cement mix over there. I need to make one episode like two hours long where I just speed play it, where I uh, go through all these houses. That way we can focus on just building and crafting. Okay, this place has to, ooh. Remember guys, these places are bugged, so there's no zombies in there that we have to worry about. That might just be the best place to go in right at the moment. Okay, we already did this place on the left, but this is a new one. Let's quickly see if we can quickly run through here, but this one we're definitely going to loot all the way. So as soon as we see anything we want to loot, we're just going to loot it. 
Like, for example, this coffin. Although the other one had way better loot in it. I'm just going to grab everything and later scrap what I don't need. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. All these, if you dig these up, these coffins might just have some good loot. See, ammo. Just like that. Okay, now where's these on this? Hello. There's another one. Thank you. I need to make sure I loot all of this. Wait, there's a zombie somewhere over here. Oh, there you are. I heard you, but I couldn't tell where you were coming from. Whoa. That was bad aiming. Okay, so what else is up here? There's a purse right there. 360. <laughs> and unfortunately, it wasn't a no scope. I think she was in here because she came from this direction. Okay, we need to still just take a day to really go for all these coffins. Just now, there's a ton of ammo buried over there. That's just going to come in handy. Okay, so um, we do have our turret with us. That's going to come in handy as well. I have the bad habit of not putting mine down, and then I get screwed. So let's just do this. Let's do this quickly. No, no, no. We're going to do that. Put that over there. Put that over there. The turret I'm going to pick up. Yep, it's nice. Now I can switch between any other guns over here. Hello. And then I can just do this. So I use the pistol to get the attention of the zombies. Ooh, nice. Another skill point. And I can go for a quicker crafting again. Hello, Feral. And John, loot everything this time. Even over here. Okay, so now, the nice thing is we can jump in here and we're safe from the zombies. Well, some of them, not all of them. Once again, just drop this over here. See if there's any zombies in there. Hello. The, the only problem is the turret starts firing before you even switch to your shotgun. That puts a damper on things. But other than that, this is awesome. Wait, what? You definitely dropped something just now, but it didn't show. I think it fell through the wall. And now there's a bandit in here somewhere. You can actually hear him wailing on something. Okay, so whoa, 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 whoa. This guy's almost empty. I wonder if that's a bandit or if that's just a pistol off survivor. I hope it's just a pistol survivor because I don't want him coming behind us. Oh, spider. Oh, whoa. He wanted to flank me just now. That was actually an awesome move. Have the cop in front. Wait, what? That's closed off over there. There might just be a bandit in there. I need to be careful. But definitely, guys, having a cop in front of you, and then all of a sudden the spider jumps behind you. Wait, what? Where is this? Just place this down. I think it's outside. It has to be. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Oh, thank you, turret. You just saved my ass. Damn, that was close. It was about to run and explode. Oh, that's just the survivor, I think, but it's very unsettling the way he shouts like a bandit. Okay, now I'm starting to get a ton of stutter over here. This is bad. I hope that doesn't mean a ton of zombies just spawn in or something. Let's see, there's something behind there. The turret would have fired, but let's put that a little bit closer. Okay, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. Put that right there. Okay, now. The moment we get close, we don't have to fire a shot, we just need to get back a little bit. Now we are reloaded. Just have to focus on these zombies now. We got one down, two down, three down. Oh no, just two. Okay, I gave myself way too much credit. I thought I killed the one zombie, but I didn't. Okay, now, there might be some more loot over here that we might be able to use. The lucky looter goggles that I, oh, I dropped that. I could have used it right now. We need the breaching rounds. Because that just wastes a ton of ammo. I don't get how some people can use a pistol. And they break through that in no time. Do you know how much damage that pistol needs to be doing to be able to do something like that? Okay, mods we're not going to use. Mods we're not going to use. Although, raw diamonds and silver nuggets. Score. Okay, over here. Messiah. Please, 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 please. I need a proper AK, man. Oh, that I can actually put over here. Uh, modify. Put some fire on that. Nice. Okay, and then jump. And now, let's see how long this takes. The previous one took like eight or nine lockpicks. Okay, like four lockpicks. Ooh, crippled mod. No, that sucks. Okay, so, before we go, I should actually really invest a little bit in the lockpicking over here. 
but I think first of all, if we're going to go and max out, no, we can't. Player level needs to be 80. So yeah, we can just well go for lockpicking, especially since it fails so easily. 10% uh, faster and a 5% lower chance to break. The big 10% faster is actually the best thing over here. This is 20% faster, 30%, 40%, and 50% faster. And the break chance is very low. So you actually want to um, see if you can max this up. But that's player level 90, 60. So I can get up to level four, uh, 4 now. I just need the skill points. So we're definitely going to invest in this a little bit. Because I hate the fact that it breaks so fast. And it is going to be the fastest way to get in as soon as you have the right skills in it. But yeah. I'm going to go back to the place of a year. Just dump everything. I'm going to make a few uh, drop chests there. I just I don't want to make too many and then have zombies come there and break the stuff. So the next episode, we're going to keep on looting over here and hopefully find a concrete mixer. If we can find a cement mixer over here, guys, that's going to be so awesome. We can perhaps spend the ward night on the roof of the school. But that means we're going to have to loot the school before then. But yeah, if you guys like this episode, please leave a like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback? Did I miss anything? What do you guys think about this episode? Anything at all, leave your comments down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.